Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will continue with the Notes app. In previous video, we have covered prerequisites and XML design. So if you have not yet watched it, I'll highly recommend you to watch that first and then hop on to this video. Now, in this video, we will cover room database. But before starting with that, let me give you a quick recap of our previous video. So in our previous video, we have added all the dependencies and plugins in Gradle. Then we have designed all the XML layouts, three menus, navigation graph, and also added icons in the drawable folder. Then colors, themes, and segregating all the packages. And that's it. You can find all the prerequisite source code in the description box. Also, I have already explained room database in detail, so you can watch it by clicking on the I button. Now, as you know, Room Database has three components, that is Entity, DAO, and Database. Entity represents table with its columns. DAO provides query for data access, and Database serves as a main access point. Got it? We will create classes for all three of them. First, let's start with Entity class. So, under Model Package, create a data class as Node. As this is an entity class, so there will be a table name with its columns, right? So I'll write here as entity annotation. And inside it, table name as notes. Then inside the table, I need to save two things. First is the title of the note. And second is the description of the node. So we will create two columns for it. Node title as string and node description as also string. Then obviously we will require a unique value that will be our primary key. So for that I'll create another column as id which I'll keep it as primary key. Simple. Next, it will be difficult to transfer this type of data. So in such cases, we go for parcelization. Now, what is parcelization? Parcelization is a mechanism that converts complex data objects into a simple format that can be easily transferred between activities or fragments. Got it? So to implement it, we will mention here parcelize annotation. And here, parcelable interface and done. then we have table as well as columns and now it's time to implement query on it so for that we will require DAO that is data access object so under database package create an interface as node DAO Then inside it, we will have basic CRUD queries like insert, read, update, and delete. Also, we have a search feature as well. So we will require query for that as well. Here, mention DAO annotation. Then let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you.
and done. Now see, our first query is insert query. Here, what is on conflict? So on conflict strategy dot replace means if there is a conflict, like if same primary key already exists in the table, then the old data will be replaced with the new data. It's basically a safe way of writing code so that we don't face any error in the future. Then we have created a suspend function named insert node that inserts the node in the database. This is our entity with table and columns, correct? And as you already know that suspend keyword indicates that this function is called from a coroutine. Similarly, I have created for update and delete node as well. But to read note means to display note and to search note we will require custom queries. Hence, I have wrote queries using query annotation in get all nodes function. So the query to display all the nodes goes like select star from nodes that is a table name ordered by ID descending means the recently created node will be at the top and previously created will be at the bottom. Got it? The result is wrapped in a live data object containing a list of node entities. Similarly, I have created a query for search node function as well. Here, select star from nodes where node title is the column name like query is the keyword that needs to be searched or nodes description like query. Means if the keyword matches either with title or description then store the result in live data containing a list of node entities. And this question mark means it can be null if no specific search criteria are provided. Got it? And that's it. Our DAO interface is also ready. Next is the third component of room database that is database itself. So create a new class as node database in database package. And done. Here we need to create and set up the database. So to tell the compiler it's a database class, here we need to mention database annotation. And inside it, entities as node class. And version as one. Now listen to me carefully. We will make this class as abstract class because we will be creating an abstract function in it later. Then as this is the main access point of database, so node database will extend room database. Now inside it, I'll create an abstract function as get node DAO, which declares node DAO interface. Abstract function basically has no body in it. Then we will create a companion object. So whatever present inside companion object is static and can be accessed anywhere in the code using its name. Then inside it, it's mostly syntax only. So let me write the code first and then I'll explain you.
and done. Now see, volatile annotation ensures that changes made by one thread are immediately visible to other threads. An instance variable holds the singleton instance of the node database or null. Then this is a lock object which is used to synchronize the database creation process. Basically, this block ensures that only one thread can execute the code inside the block at a time. Got it? Then this is a custom invoke operator for the companion object. Basically, it allows you to create an instance of node database by calling node database context. Invoke function follows the singleton pattern ensuring that only one instance is created. Then this line checks if the instance is already initialized. If not, then it enters a synchronized block using the lock object to ensure that only one thread can create the database instance at a time. Then inside the block again, it checks if the instance is still null and then creates a database using the create database function. I know you will be wondering why is there a need of this invoke operator function. Because invoke operator is used for simplicity when creating an instance and also double check locking pattern is implemented to ensure thread safety during database creation process. Lastly, I have created a function as create database. It is responsible for creating the node database instance using database builder method. Then it also specifies the database class, database name, that is node underscore db and then finally build it and that's it our database is also ready next and the very last thing to do is set up repository so inside repository package create a new class as node repository and then now what's the general meaning of repository it means a place or a container where something is deposited or stored right same we will be going to do in this nodes repository with the help of node database which we created before okay so i'll write here as well db and declare node database class then inside it i am going to create five functions insert node function delete node function update node function get all nodes function and search node function we have already created their queries in DAO, but this time we will call all of them as methods in their respective function. So first, let me write the code. And done. Now see, suspend make sure that all this operation is running on a background thread. Then we have a function as insert node with its parameter as node. And that is equals to, here I have called the insert node method which is present in node DAO. And that node DAO is present in node database. See, if I click on it, it leads me to node DAO interface. And this get node DAO interface is called in node database over here hence the chain goes like this way and then all you need to do is pass the arguments that needs to be saved so for our case it is node got it similarly delete node method for delete node function then update node method for update node function then get all nodes function don't require parameter because it is retrieving hence call get all nodes method from database then search node function do require a parameter which will act as a keyword that needs to be searched. 
So in our case, it is query whose data type is string. Then using search note method from database, it will search the note according to its query. And that's it. Our repository is also ready. One more thing that is left is to attach node entity class with navigation graph in edit node fragment as an argument. It's basically attaching data with its respective fragment. So let me quickly do that. And done. Now, in next video, we will set up our adapter and view model. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.